Let's take a look at differentials for a scalar valued function of multiple variables, and then we'll use differentials to estimate an error calculation. After that, we'll take a look at linearizing a function, and we'll use the linearization to estimate the value of a function near the value of a function at a known point. So below, let's assume that each function f is differentiable. In single variable calculus, we have functions of the form y equals f of x. The differential is dy equals f prime of x dx. The idea is that if we want to estimate a change in y values given some change in x values, then the function might be hard to work with, so it might be hard to actually compute delta y, but sometimes dy is easier to work with. And so we can say that this quantity dy estimates the true change delta y. In multivariable calculus, if we have a function of the form z equals f of x and y, then the differential dz is df dx times dx plus df dy times dy, which we could also write as a dot product that's the gradient of f dotted with dx dy. And similarly, if w was a function of x, y, and z, we could say dw is the gradient of f dot dx dy dz. So in this problem, the height of a circular cylinder is measured as 8 centimeters and the radius as 3 centimeters, but we could have had an error up to 0.2 centimeters for each measurement. Let's use differentials to estimate the maximum error that we could have if we were to compute the volume of the cylinder. So first we have to identify what function we have. And the function here is the volume function. This is a scalar valued function of two inputs r and h. So v of r and h equals pi r squared h. To compute its differential, we're gonna to need to compute the gradient. So the gradient of this function is just going to be a vector with its partial derivatives. The partial derivative with respect to r is 2 pi r h, and the partial derivative with respect to h is pi r squared. We're working specifically with an r value of 3 and an h value of 8, so I think we're ready to go. We can say dv is going to be the gradient of v evaluated at 3, 8, dot the possible errors, which for both measurements was 0.2. Now we just plug in. So the first coordinate of the gradient is 2 times pi times 3 times 8, and then the second coordinate is pi times 3 squared. We dot that with 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and we're saying that according to dv, the change in volume that we might get if we're off by possibly 0.2 in each direction is approximately 35.81 centimeters cubed. So this approximates delta V. Now let's look at how to use linearization to do estimations. So recall the linearization of a function is really like its tangent plane approximation. So let's use that to estimate cosine of 3 plus the square root of 16.2. We don't have a function here, so we have to create a function. Let's let f of x and y be cosine of x plus the square root of y. In order to write down a tangent plane for this equation, we're going to need to compute the gradient. So the gradient of f is negative sine of x, 1 over 2 times the square root of y. Notice 3 is near pi and 16.2 is near 16, both of those values are a lot easier to plug into f. So one thing we can say is that cosine of 3 plus the square root of 16.2 is approximately f of pi comma 16, which is cosine of pi plus the square root of 16, so that's negative 1 plus 4 or 3. So that's one approximation, but can we do better? And we can with the linearization. So we are going to linearize f at the point pi 16.
that's going to create a function L of X and Y, which is going to be the tangent plane equation. So that's F at the point plus the gradient of F at that point dot the difference vector X minus pi Y minus 16. So plugging in the actual values we have, f at pi 16 is 3, and then the gradient at that point is 0, 1 8, and then we dot that with x minus pi, y minus 16. So let's see, that's going to be 3 plus y over 8 minus 2, or it's 1 plus y over 8. So since this is a differentiable function, the idea is that near the point pi 16, f of x, y is approximately l of x and y. And while it's very hard to plug into f, it's easy to plug into l. So it's, it's hard to take the cosine of a number and the square root of a number, but it's easy to say 1 plus a number divided by 8. So let's see what happens if we plug 3 and 16.2 into l. So we're gonna say that the cosine of three plus the square root of 16.2 is approximately L of three 16.2, which when we plug it in is just one plus 16.2 divided by eight, which is 3.025. Have we improved on our original estimate? And the answer is yes. If you evaluate this in a calculator, you get 3.0349, et cetera, et cetera. So our linearization gave us a pretty good estimate.